1,000 only. I created an account from scratch and in each episode I complete a task of 1,000 things. But you, the viewer, decide what my next task is going to be by voting on a poll which I release each video. Now pick your vote wisely because the profit I make will be invested into better gear to prepare for the next episode. For a full list of the rules and restrictions, check out the description of the video. Are you ready? Let's begin! Hey, hello there guys, welcome back to 1000 Only Episode 4. I've just returned from my holiday in London where I had a great time and I would like to thank you all for the positive comments I've received from you all while I was away. But that is not the only thing I'd like to thank you for, because what is happening to my channel is just unreal. Only two weeks ago I reached 10,000 subscribers and here we are, 15k already. My dream of being a successful YouTuber is starting to become reality and that is just mind-blowing. Last episode over 10,000 people voted on the poll, can you believe it? Please keep that up because the voting system is what makes this series so special. You, the viewer, gets to decide what path I take, so use that to your advantage. But anyway, I would like to talk about pest control now. I have to admit that I was very excited to see this option win because I think void gear will be incredibly helpful for us to have in the future. Some people thought it's gonna be very boring because of this, but fear not, I will make sure to get the most out of it. On the background of the video you can see me sell most of the items I still had in my bank from last episode just to create a big cash tag to invest today. I'm going to collect 1000 pest control points in this episode which equals about 334 wins. That is quite a lot so I expect to get a lot of combat experience today. I have decided to invest in some magic enemy lee equipment for this episode so I bought myself a bunch of fire strikes and ropes of darkness for magic and a brian saber to train me lee as well. I don't really need food because this is a safe minigame and if I die I can get back to the fights immediately, but I decided to buy some combat potions instead to deal some extra damage. Just look at this absolute champion gear my friends, it is time to collect 1000 pest points. Alright then, in the past episode many of my viewers asked me to do some commentary during the 1000 grind. At first I didn't want to do this because I wanted to keep it relaxed with some music on the background just to let the nostalgia flow through your veins. But since I got so many requests I've decided to listen to you guys and give you the commentary you asked for. Pest Control is a minigame that brings us many different feelings. Nostalgia, but at the same time boring. A big grind, but done by almost everyone because the rewards are oh so satisfying. To be completely honest, I personally really love the minigame. It requires teamwork and it feels amazing to smack all those big hits on the portals together, especially when there are people in Darok around. But yes, it can be very frustrating at the same time. People that go AFK, leave the gates open or simply ignore the annoying spinner literally one tile next to them, yep, that's true. I must say that 1000 points on the novice boat took quite a while, especially in the morning when not many people are online, it takes ages to find a match to begin with, and then it's usually only like 5 to 10 people which doesn't help that much, but hey, not everything can be easy right? So I decided to begin with some magic training, because it's pretty easy to kill spinners or hit the portal from a distance and be a little more safe. I also really want to get 55 magic for high level alchemy, but in this episode I didn't get past 53, so that'll be for another time. Later I switched to melee and started training attack and defense. Void armor requires level 42 in every single combat stat except prayer. I think prayer only needs level 22 if I'm correct. So after getting 42 attack I also got myself 42 defense to meet all the requirements. And then I switched back to strength to get it as high as possible. One problem I will have though is that when I'm finished I will end up with 1002 points instead of 1000. Because it will always get 3 points per win no matter what so there's no way to get around it. But don't worry, I will simply make sure not to spend more than 1000 points to keep it clean. In total it took me 23 hours to finally collect all the points. This comes down to about 43 points per hour. So now that we have finished our task, let's see what I have in mind next. Every time you win a pest control game, you are rewarded with 3 pest points and your combat level times 10 in GP. After 334 pest control wins, I managed to get 186k coins, which is very welcome. 
But now the main question is, what will I do with my pest points? Well, obviously my plan is to buy a full void set. However, 1000 points is not enough to buy all the three helmets. I will have to choose only one helmet, the one I think will benefit me the most. So I've decided to purchase the Ranger Helm. I have a very specific reason for this, but I will explain why later. The thing now is that I've spent 850 points for one set and still have 150 points left. So what now? Well, the rules of the series tell me that I'm always allowed to complete quests or train skills when they benefit my 1000 only journey. In this case, the Herblore skill. I need level 25 to be able to spend pest points on her packs, which will make me some extra cash. Because of this reason, I decided to complete the quest Druidic Ritual to train my Herblore to level 25, so that I'm able to spend the full 1000 points. After selling all my loot from the herb boxes, I managed to get 160k, which gives us a total of 346k in the end. So the loot from 1000 pest points is for me, full range void and 346k. So here is once again an overview of all the stats I have trained in this episode. I've trained my attack, strength, defense, magic, hit points and herb lore. Just like at the start of the episode, I want to sell everything I don't need anymore to see how much money we can end up with. After doing all that, we now have 1 mil and 114k, which we can invest again in the next episode. However, the next episode is going to be a bit different than usual. Many of you asked the question to include the Slayer skill in the series because it unlocks incredible new and fun content and will give you many more options to vote for in the future. If you have already read the rules and restrictions of the series, which can be found in the description of each episode, you may have noticed I already had an idea for Slayer. Every fifth episode will be focused on 1000 Slayer kills, so that is what we'll be doing in the next one. But does that mean that you guys have nothing to vote for today? Of course not. The unique part of this series is that you, the viewer, have the power to vote on your favorite content. So today I do have a poll for you all, but slightly different than what you're used to. I have seen many of you suggest stuff like, can you do loot from 1000 skilling activities or can you please do some useful quests to make your account more efficient? And I can totally agree with all these suggestions. I will have to train skills and complete quests eventually to make this account more interesting. So here is my answer. My plan is to introduce 1000 minutes only as part of the series. Should you guys like this idea, I will be able to make episodes like loot from 1000 minutes of skilling, questing, playing Winter Todd, or maybe even the upcoming Mahogany Homes update, or anything else that sounds interesting. The potential will be limitless. But before I go on with this idea, I need your opinion. So please pick one of these two options. Option one, yes, introduce 1000 minutes only episodes. And option two is no, but do quests and train skills whenever you feel like, so no restrictions. Thank you all so much for voting in advance. It is really easy to do. Simply click on the link I put in the description or the comments. And if you did vote, then also please consider subscribing to the channel. This way you will never miss a future video and you can use your power to vote each episode. So that means I have now come to an end of this video, my friends. You can all expect a new episode in a few days because for this one, I do not have to wait for the polls because I'm gonna do Slayer, like I said. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.